Hello, my name is Aaron Sutherland and I am a SUSE certified instructor. Today we are going to look at the SUSE eLearning website. We will start by providing a high level overview of our eLearning subscription plans. You can see here that we do have three different plans to choose from. We have silver, gold, and platinum subscriptions. Silver and gold are for individual use and platinum is for enterprise use. Starting with our silver plan, you get access to our on-demand video course library along with access to all of the quizzes and courseware ebooks for each of the courses. When you have a gold subscription, you get access to everything from the silver subscription and you also get access to up to 200 hours of our live technical labs along with five certification vouchers. With the gold subscription, you also get access to our Ask the Expert service. This allows you to email questions to an expert who will provide answers to help clarify topics that you may have questions on. Moving on from gold, you will see our third subscription type, our Enterprise Platinum subscription, which gives you everything you see in our gold subscription, along with up to 1,000 hours of access to our live technical labs and 10 certification vouchers. Enterprise Platinum also includes concurrent access for up to five users with unlimited user access. Now let's take a look at the SUSE eLearning website. You can see the URL here. Once you have logged into the eLearning site, we will start on the home page where we can see recently viewed courses or courses we have marked as favorites and recent achievements. If this is your first time logging in, these sections will be empty. The first thing we want to do is to browse to the content library. Here in the content type box, you can see we have three types of content. You see courses, learning paths, and collections. Courses is not currently used. A learning path is a group of one or more modules presented in a sequential learning order. A collection is a list of learning paths that contain all of the training material related to a specific SUSE product. So here you can see we've got all of our learning paths listed and when I click on collections you can see we've got our core topics. We also have the ability to filter the content in the topics section. You will see a list of our core topics. And when you select a topic, for instance, let's select Rancher here. We see all of the courses or learning paths that are related to Rancher. Let's take a look at one of our courses and look at the different items that are available to you in a course. So we'll click on the Rancher Prime Operations learning path here. The first thing that we see is a list of all of the different modules or sections that make up the learning path. And if we click on one of these, we'll be taken to a page that looks like this. On the course introduction page, you'll see a list of all the different features for the course. And if we click on continue, you'll see some additional information about the course. And then you'll be presented with a video that will be an introduction to the course itself. So we click on play, we watch the video. Watch the video through its completion, and then at the bottom of the screen, we've got this little arrow, so we'll go ahead and click on that. Here, this tells you how you can access the live labs. This is for gold and platinum subscribers only, and we'll come back to this and talk about this in a few minutes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the course and lab manuals. So we click the little down arrow, and here we see the lecture manual, the course manual, and the lab environment details. 
So if we click on the lecture manual, a new tab will open up in your browser and you will see the lecture manual. This does contain all of the slides you're going to see in the videos, along with some additional notes for some of the different portions of the course. If we go back to our original tab, we can click on the lab manual. This is our workbook for the course. This does include all of the steps for all of the different exercises that you see in the course. Now, in the course, instead of them giving you the lab to do, you will have a, lab, a live lab environment that you can use, but the instructor who's created the course will perform each of the labs as a demonstration for you. Now we'll go back to our original tab. We will scroll down and see that there's guides here for Rancher 2.8 and 2.7. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on Next Module. So the next page that opens up is going to show me an introduction to the next module, which is going to cover all of the different topics that are going to be covered in this module. Once you've read through the different topics and watched the video, click the down arrow to be taken to the next portion of the course. After you have gone through each of the different modules in the course, you'll be presented with a quiz. The quiz is here just to test how well you retain the information that was presented in the previous sections in the lecture and the labs. So here you just select your answer. And click on submit. It will tell you whether or not you've gotten the answer correct or incorrect. In order to pass the quiz, you do need to make 100%. Once you've completed the quiz, go ahead and click on Next Module. As you progress through the different sections, you will see videos titled Demonstrations. This is the instructor here performing a demo of the different activities that we have in the lab guide. Now you can follow along and perform these activities on your own in our live technical lab environment if you have a gold or platinum subscription. To get to our lab environment, we're going to go back a few modules here. I've gone back to the first module, the course overview. And it does have instructions here on accessing the live lab environment. So we're going to click on Start. It'll tell us we need to enroll in the course lab environment. Then we need to view the course, and then we need to start the course. Now, it will take several minutes for the course to start, or the lab environment to start up. And then we're ready to begin using the lab environment. To get to the lab environment, we're going to click on the little down arrow down at the bottom of the screen. And this does have the links to the lab environment. So I'm going to click on the link for live lab environment. Here it shows that I'm already enrolled in the course, so I'm going to click on View Course, and then I'm going to click on Start Course. Once the lab environment has started, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. This is a virtual machine that we're going to be using to complete the steps of the lab. The first thing we need to do is check to see if there are virtual machines inside this virtual machine that need to be powered on. We can do that with the Virtual Machine Manager. So we click the icon here. We're going to see a window that looks like this open up. Select your virtual machine. And then click the Play button. That will power on the virtual machine. Now to be able to access the console of the virtual machine, we can, click on, we can either double click on the virtual machine itself or we can click the Open button. 
and that will open up the virtual machine so that we can then begin interacting with that virtual machine. So we'll let this one boot up. Now that the virtual machine has started up, we can log in to the virtual machine. All the usernames and passwords are stored in the workbook. And then once we've logged in, we can begin using the VM to perform the steps of our lab environment. Now, a lot of the labs use multiple VMs. So you may have to go back to the virtual machine manager and power on additional VMs. But that will all be described in the workbook. It'll tell you which VMs need to be powered on, when they need to be powered on, and in what order they need to be powered on. So thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful and have a great day.